Okay, now I'd like to introduce you to the lean methodology. First, let's cover some basics when it comes to processes. Uh, one definition of processes is it's a unique combination of methods, machines, materials, and manpower engaged in producing a measurable output. Edwards Deming, he once said, if you can't describe what you are doing as a process, you don't know what you are doing. And it's amazing how many people out there do not have documentation of how they do their jobs. They're just winging it day to day. Peter Drucker once said, what gets measured gets managed. And that's true. If we have some kind of man measurement, that measurement is what's driving people's behaviors. And that's key to lean, that you have the right key performance indicators that will drive the correct behaviors to improve your processes and to strive for process excellence. Now, what is lean? Is it a philosophy? Is it a culture, a practice, a set of tools? Well, actually, it's all of these. It's a holistic approach to changing your culture and changing how people view their work and address issues to go from firefighting to being proactive and taking care of problems. Lean is about working smarter, not harder. It's a continuous improvement approach that optimizes value by reducing waste. Elimination of waste is the key aspect of lean, so you can improve the flow of processes through your organization. Another aspect of lean is it's teams that are involved and engaged that are identifying and solving problems in the workplace. And this is key that management let the workers get involved in solving problems. There's vast amounts of knowledge out there with your employees. If you just take time to ask them, they have answers to the problems. They know what's going on. They live it. They work it every day. They're a resource that goes largely untapped. Now, leadership is involved in Lean and that they are focused on continuously learning, changing, being adaptable to change. They have to learn how to mentor their people and coach them in a constructive manner to develop those people and to develop their skills so they can be problem solvers and be part of the team coming up with solutions. Another aspect of Lean is you have tools that you can use and those will be addressed in another video on specific tools that can be applied to specific problems but they help streamline your processes and that's why we use the term lean because it leans things out and reduces the waste. A simple t definition of lean is improvement means the elimination of waste. That's what you want to do is improve things. Four goals of improvement have to be making things easier, better, faster, and at lower cost. And this was an idea brought forward by Shigeo Shingo, who was one of the developers of the to Toyota production system, which is the origin of Lean. Now, you might have certain issues in your office or your work area, and I want to ask you about some of these and say, do you have any of these? Are there bottlenecks or wait times in your area? Do you have setup time issues? Are there long lead times? What about defect and errors? What about excessive inventory, equipment downtime? Is there excessive movement of material or paperwork? Uh, what about the layout of your work area? Are these things something that you could say, well, we have some of those. Most people I talk to, they'll say, we have all of those and more. We have other things that we have to deal with. Those should be seen as issues to be addressed and opportunities to apply lean to solve those problems.